Okay, we're getting closer to something that's more useful here. So, one thing to think about now is a little bit of formatting. You see how this is still in our gray section here, but if we look back in Clarity Studio, those are just blank cells. So it's hard to really know what's going to be there. So now we can kind of say, well now that we've decided a row, you know, accounts and time are going to be on our rows. So we really want to make sure that, that we can reference those if we want to build formulas around that. So why don't we just set up, uh, just type in those, those names here. So if we flip back into Studio, this first cell is going to be account key, account name, account caption. This next one's going to be time key, time name, time caption. And this was going to be property. This would be a uh, level. Similarly along our columns, we're going to have year key, year name, year caption. So these aren't going to show up in our report because we can get overwritten. But at least that gives us an idea of what to build formulas from. So the white section is what's going to show up. So maybe I want to say, let's show the caption. So I want to show my account caption. And then I want to show my time caption. And I can start making this you know, a little bit larger. Get the right size. Time's probably not that big. And then along the, the columns, I'll just need the year caption. And I can even start hiding this as well. So really from here, hidden row. So it's down to 29. It's going to be my hidden row. So I'm going to add two more. So we'll add move this down. So if we look over at 31, we're just above where our year caption is going to be, that's fine. I'm also going to select these rows, I'm just going to turn them gray, so we have a visual indicator that these are our hidden rows. So everything going across is always going to be hidden. And maybe for our pages we could use something as well. So we know that our scenario is going to show up here. So why don't we put this in? Uh, actually, we don't even have our names yet. So let's put those in. So each of our page options, if we want the scenario name to show up here, we select the cell. Let's say display. So this is showing members. So current cell. We want to show the name here. So the cell that's in there. Now we're going to show the caption in this new cell. In this cell, we're going to look at office products. Go to office products. We want the name to show up in this cell. So we'll pick the name. In this cell, we want to show the caption. And all products. Name. The caption. Measures, name, the caption. We could pick key as well, because we don't really need it, but we could, we could choose it if we choose to. For, purpose of, for, for purposes of display, I just want to know the caption. So I'm going to say that one. I could also just make this a formula using exactly what we have here. I could just click on this cell and say display in this cell. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I, I can start to reuse this, this grid that's here. If on a different report I want to reuse this shell, I, I rearrange the dimension names and I, as long as I set up the name and caption to show up here then the formulas will show them up in the right spot. So we have a couple of extra empty lines here. So why don't we hide these. Hidden row. And then now that's 12 through 20. Make that gray as well. So let's 
give this a name. There's a row that looks like it's this row is visible. Let's want to call this our validation report. Now this top row is hidden. Make sure that's gray. Which other rows do we need to show here? So maybe the top one row will show that, or we'll hide this one. So let's do a hidden row here. And something we haven't done so far is let's just hide the rows and columns. So this is looking a little prettier. Get rid of our grid lines, don't need any of those. Our headlines and sheet tabs, so we just display all that. Oh, some headings will help us format this a little prettier. Like that. So now let's save and send.